Hello there, everybody. This is Eurogo Peas, and we're back for more Persona 4 and N Ellipses. Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Did they make that joke? I think they did make that joke. Sorry, be right back. Is she Yosuke's girlfriend? <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> oh, that's Saki Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. She's the most Asian looking person in this whole game and those eyebrows. But What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Cal can even call those things eyebrows. Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? You're saying to be in charming? What is this madness? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. <sighs> Why did I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? John's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. I do that to him anyways. <laughs> nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, what, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So the daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain the flame of forbidden love. That's a horrible story. <laughs> Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Hmm. You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say, that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Burn! How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. It's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. <laughs> Gee, I was stupid. <laughs> all that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Shush! You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? 
All I am saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. So, me and your secret, it was stupid, and we're going to try it out tonight. Sounds legit. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, he's home. <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame. plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um... Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Get down with this TV. <laughs> Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Oh, to prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? It's only been like one day. It, it takes a long time for that stuff. Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Can we not hear that theme again for like the rest of the game? Every day's great at your Juness. No, it's not that. Let's check the fridge. Nothing catches your eye. You you better expect to see that a lot. And let's go save.
Anyway. Huh, let's check out the midnight channel. Nothing bad can happen. You can hear it right now outside. It's almost midnight. Your soul might appear. As if you look into the TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true? What? 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 How is that possible? Are you okay? Um, I just got like, oh, my TV was just trying to eat me. I don't think I'm okay. Kind of. Our TV just tried to eat us. That, that's not something you just talk about. Oh, we're gonna ask the question. Okay, it's it's pretty bad if you don't know the answer to this question. When Jesus was born. I really like this theme. And our knowledge has increased. And it's after school. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo! Um... It's, a. Uh, it's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki-senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. 
I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? I saw it, and my TV tried to eat me. Huh? Uh, well, what about you? Well, what happened to me, my TV would knock my head off. I did! I seriously saw a girl. Um. Um. <laughs> My soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? It could mean a lot of things. It could mean you're a lesbian. It could mean you're bisexual. It could mean a lot of things. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. But she was wearing our school uniform and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. Well, I don't know if I saw the same person, but my TV definitely tried to eat me. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? Three thumb. <laughs> How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Um, yeah, I kind of saw the same thing, and my TV tried to eat me. saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. <laughs> yeah, not getting a bigger TV. Well, if it had been bigger, that... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> it's just so wrong. Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Don't buy one. Do you want to fall inside TV and get eaten by yours? Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely! My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What -a! Please don't do that again. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so wrong if you think about it, perverted. <laughs> There's a lot of lines in this game that can sound really wrong if you think about them hard enough. Fine, I'll show you. Give me a TV. Now we're at Juness now. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope, can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Because it gotta be right now, it's had to be midnight. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. I could have swore my hand was further than my TV should have gone like it was in another world. God, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. <laughs> well, that's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. Yeah, there's like two zeros. 
I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... Now let's see if we can fit our hand in here. Um, guys, you might want to check out what's happening. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you? Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. Is some kind of new model, L -l like with a new function. <laughs> I think there's like a 5D TV. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, he did. Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? <laughs> okay, that's gonna be funny later on once when. Uh, it's just gonna be funny if you know, like. Uh, it's just gonna be funny later. <laughs> hey, let's put our, our head in it. <laughs> There's empty space inside, you tell them that. What do you mean inside? That I'm inside the TV, that's why I'm by inside. What, what, what do you mean empty space? There's like a bunch of gears in here and stuff like that. It seems very spacious in there. What do you mean spacious? There's a lot of space in here. I think he has to pee. <laughs> Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. So he really has to pee. I'm not really stuck, I can take my head out if I want. What are we gonna do? Don't, 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 no! Uh. Wait, well, that's pretty trippy. Yes, and this is not portal. Are you guys okay? Yeah, I understand that's increased. I think my butt's <laughs> It's supposed to be. Of course it is. <laughs> there, man. We'll see me the obvious joke. Whoa. Whoa! What now? Did you wet your pants? <laughs> you probably did. I thought you were talking about the fog. Is this a, a studio? All this fog? Or is it smoke? It looks more like fog. There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. Man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Um. Um, let's look around. We're here. Huh? But, but... We might find an exit. Look, we need to get home and... Huh? 
Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? Up? I don't see a way in. Or out. We came in through a TV, so let's look for a TV. That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Um, let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Well, that's true, but... <laughs> We gotta bear it. If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this looks so thick I can hardly see. Looks like some sort of co apartment complex. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? Who knows? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. The sky's pretty cool here. It's like black and red. I know, but... Is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. I don't think there'll be cell phone service in, you know, probably a place that doesn't exist. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Oh, what are you looking at? <gasps> what the? There's a what? Um, that's not the thing you're supposed to be looking at. There's a blood everywhere. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Yeah, you're right, Yosuke. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. There's a planet right over there, Yosuke. Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. <laughs> you're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. <laughs> Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Your faces are all cut out. Somebody must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? You say you should know that nooses are bad. Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. Yeah. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Let's just leave already. Who cares? Let's go. I am sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could be due to the oppressive right, atmosphere. Let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Okay, let's go. Whew. We finally made it back here. 
Wait, what's that? There's something over there. There's another thing inside the TV with us? Huh? Oh, it's a panda bear! Uh. What is this thing? A, a monkey? A bear? It's a panda, and. We're gonna set it off here. This has been the Hero Kill Beats playing Persona 4. And probably next episode, we're gonna see how what this panda bear is. Bye.